Oh, I do like hubs and quads. Um, Gearvest have kindly sent me, as you can see here, the X4 Desire H502E. Uh, I've got a 501 Advanced, and that's really nice and flies really well. And I've also got one of their small uh, quads that I absolutely love. Really good fun and precise flyers and really nice level of kit they put on it. So, be interested to see how this one copes. This one's got a lot to live up to already. This is going to be pitched right in the middle of those other two. So, but it does come with HD cam as you can see, GPS, uh, automatic return to home and altitude hold. So I'm going to be really interested to see how this flies. Uh, they usually fly really well. So like I say, it's got a lot to live up to. Box is nice and simple, nice and small. So if you're giving it as a Prezi, go under the tree, no problem. Or if you're giving it to yourself, you can probably hide it around the house so nobody else knows you've got it. And uh, it's going to be like a gaming controller on the transmitter. Um, uh, I look forward to having a go with that. Uh, and then obviously the, the usual things. It helps them do a nice little simple box. So without further ado, let's get in the simple box. We'll see what we've actually got inside. So nice, very well packaged actually. And just quickly run through uh, the assembly there uh, and the important parts of the A and B on the props as well. So nice to point that out. If you're new to quads, that would be vital. And there it is, yeah. Um, nice looking piece of kit actually. Um, very light. Um, and I'll, I'll get it, to get some, actually I'll put the weight down the bottom because it's quite a nice light little quad. And they've actually put, yeah, protectors. I just wonder what on earth has happened to the top there. But they actually put protectors on the top there, which are rather good um, to protect the actual uh, shafts of the motor. And let's see what else we've got inside. So like I say, really well packaged. Uh, and then down into the transmitter which again, like I said, it got nice cautions on there. If you're new to quads, this is, you know, I'm impressed with this already. Uh, nice, the, I always find these quite nice in the hand, actually, that they, they, they feel as though the two sticks are further apart because of these, I always think. Um, uh, and the, the, yeah, they fly really well because your fingers just naturally come up for these controls as well. And they mark the controls, yay! Uh, one of my pet hates is when nothing's marked up. Um, so that's nice. And they're nice and simple, just obviously the trim here as well. So, yep, that's good. And then just carry on through. Oh, even marked up with spare uh, part pack. So there we go. I reckon it's nice and simple. A uh, little mini screwdriver, big surprise there, and it's great to have another one. Um, so, oh, sorry, we've got no props on it, so it's not assembled. All we've got to do is pop the props on. Uh, they're a bit of a peculiar colour, actually. They're sort of like a very dark pink or just... They're not a burgundy, so they're heading along the dark pink route, or uh, crimson, I suppose. And uh, a USB charger uh, that charges through the balance port. I'll get the battery out in a second. Uh, the screws, I've actually got um, Loctite um, type um, built into the screw. So when they screw in, they'll actually lock up tight and will actually almost glue together. So you can easily undo them, but that's much better than just having a loose screw on your uh, props. There's no landing gear and no, there's nowhere to fit it either. And I don't think I've actually got, yeah, there's no uh, micro, uh, SD card, so uh, need to provide one of those, which isn't a problem. I've got loads of them, and then onto the actual uh, instructions itself. So to get in the battery bay, no, not difficult at all. Same as um, my other hubs, and just simply click it down and pull it out, and the wires are all neatly packed in there, as you would imagine with hubs. And the um, I don't know, what's that there? Uh, there's actually actually a micro. USB uh, port there, so whether or not you can upgrade, update the firmware, um, I'll have to have a look at that, but that's interesting. I don't usually see that so easily accessible on quads, so it'd be lovely if it is. Uh, and there's a battery, really sort of slim and lightweight. Uh, as I was saying, the whole thing's nice and light. Uh, two cell, uh, 610 uh, milliamp hour, and, and call it a high performance. It's a 15C, so it's not a massive draw on it. And uh, the actual charger, as I was saying earlier, this actually outputs at 0.8 of an amp, so 800 milliamp hour. So I would have thought that would have charged in about an hour, but uh, according to the manual, it takes two hours to charge. So I'll get that on charge and let's just see how we get on. So battery on charge, as I usually do, good time to go through the uh, instruction manual. Oh, Hubson done it again. Um, superb instructions, really clear, concise, 
nice, simply printed and just brilliant instructions. Compass calibration, I'm not going to run through every single thing because we do this uh, as I get to fly and everything. It tells you how to calibrate the compass. This is on a separate fly, so I presume that's if you get the one without the uh, GPS on. Uh, this is really unusual in uh, quad manufacturers and Hubson actually always seem to pop in a, a booklet about uh, disclaim, uh, a disclaimer uh, warning, uh, basically uh, runs through everything, all your sort of legal things and uh, li uh, limitation of liability, battery disposal, etc. Um, superbly done actually. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't imagine many people are going to read it, but uh, it's there and um, it sort of gets them out of <laughs> jail free if you like. The um, and then onto the actual manual itself, as I sort of hinted at the beginning of this, absolutely superb, really nicely done, all in one language, um, uh, just laid out perfectly. Uh, what you expect to get in your pack, so we've already been through those. Um, and then the instructions, just superb. If you're new to flying, it will take you through really carefully. Um, again, points out what way round the um, propellers go. Uh, warning you where you fly and a uh, flying environment and everything how to arm it disarm it oh everything just brilliantly done superb um, this actually flies in mode one and, and mode, mode two i usually fly in mode two and as you can see uh, i would imagine that will be the, the default and imagine you have to put it into one but we'll check that later um, very simple uh, neat clear instructions absolutely superb uh, how to calibrate the transmitter as well and then an explode view of all your parts uh, called out anything i would just say is that they're all marked on the other side so you've got to do a little bit of flicking back and forward but then they're all down here with the actual part number and the actual description so absolutely as usual hubson done a brilliant manual the quads arms are clearly marked uh, with a, an a or a b as you can see and then you just simply take off the sort of silicon protector there and there is a little flat on the actual I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up hope you will there's a little flat on the actual uh, motor uh, shaft or the gear shaft sorry there uh, and then the props are clearly marked A and B as you hopefully you can see so make sure you've got an A on an A and then just line up uh, so that the uh, it goes on and it should sit right down so if you go to put it on and it's sitting and there's a lot of shaft showing there's something wrong you need to just rotate it around till it drops in fully and then with the little provided um, screw uh, if you've got a, a magnetized head one much better than the one they supply but I'll just do it with the one they've supplied you just simply screw that in just make sure that's nipped up tight like I said, it's got a thread lock uh, built in anyway uh, onto the screw, which is absolutely superb. Insert the uh, micro SD card in, and it's even got a little graphic there of what way round it does. It just simply pops in like that. But there's no, it doesn't actually click in and out, so there's no spring loaded or anything. So uh, I'd suggest um, I could probably put elastic band around there, be a big surprise to anyone who knows the uh, channel, or a little bit of tape or something just to stop that coming out. Shouldn't come out, it's not that easy to come out, but a little bit of a shunt, that comes flying out, you've lost all your videos and your photos. Make sure you've got four AAA batteries for the transmitter. Uh, make sure, because <laughs> you won't be flying if you don't have these in. It doesn't come supplied with them. And simply slide the battery bay door back over. And then you can always just flick it on, even without the quad around, just to check that the transmitter is all working. With this particular quad setup, you need to put the quad on first of all. Uh, there's no on and off switch on it, so you've just literally got to plug in the battery. And then you get flashing LEDs. And then when you turn the transmitter on, it's quite unusual. You hold down the camera button and then turn it on. You get an H flashing up. And then once it's actually bound, you get all the other LCDs come up and we get set compass one. Now, I'm not too sure whether this is going to work indoors, but we'll give it a go. And as you can see, LEDs are flashing away there and they're sort of ch chasing round. Hopefully you can see that. And then to calibrate the compass, we simply rotate it on the flat. It doesn't seem to matter whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise. And you just keep turning. Oh, there we go. It did change to uh, compass two. And now the LEDs are flashing differently so um, quite a quite an unusual way of doing it and to calibrate the second part of the compass you point it down and then just simply rotate until that disappears which I say I'm not to say 
Oh, and it did disappear. There we go. I was just going to say, I don't think it will in here. And there we go. And the LEDs come on solid. That means the compass is calibrated. So I'll put that down there. So hopefully you can see the LEDs because they're going to be, they interact quite a bit with what we're going to do. Okay. So onto the uh, transmitter itself. Uh, if you want to take photographs, simply press uh, this one here for a single shot and you get a little flash on the back uh, red LEDs means it's just taken a shot. If you want video, you hold it down for about a second and a half, and then you get alternate flashing ones on there. So they're quite, the LEDs are quite cleverly sort of worked out, I think. So to stop the video, again, just hold that down, about a second, second and a half, and then they stop, every, uh, everything's on solid then. If you want to start the motors, it was a good idea, um, and put it into tick over, basically just pull them both down and out, and then it will just sit on tick over. To take off, I'm, I'm going to fly right, uh, sorry, mode two, so throttles on the left, and literally just push that up and it will take off. Altitude hold will kick in straight away, so wherever you stop, it will more or less balance out there. To have GPS working, you need to have six satellites on each, and these are the GPS uh, satellites for the uh, transmitter and the, and the actual quad, so we're not going to get any inside the house, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's no other way of killing the throttle. If you pull it down, it won't actually take it out of idle. The only way to take it back out of idle is to disarm it, so down and out on both the uh, controls, and that will take it out of uh, idle mode. The, uh, if you want to go into headless mode, you simply press this one down here, and then as you can see, we've got flashing LEDs, the blue ones at the front. Take it out of headless mode, since it simply press that again, it comes out of headless. If you want to go into expert mode, it all starts in uh, sort of novice mode or low rates. If you want to go into high rates, but they call it expert, you, you simply push that, none of the LEDs change, they just stay the same. Um, but you do get a tiny little one here, and obviously it performs a little bit better. It's got a little bit more go in it. It's not a sports model by any means, but, but that's basically what it does. If you want return to home, you have to hold this one down here. Uh, for about a second and a half you get a beep beep again uh, but it's not going to do anything because we haven't got any satellite lock so it, it it wouldn't head home and anyway we're not in flight anyway but that just shows you uh, how it works basically and then to cancel that once it starts getting within range of you press it again and then it'll cancel it out then it will literally just stop in the air with the gps obviously it's just literally going to stop in the air as well if you want to turn the leds off so just hold that up there I mean, you just simply press this one in the middle. There we go. Hold it down for about a second and a half again, and that will turn the LEDs off. And then, if you want them back on, you just press it again for another second and a half, and there we go. Uh, these ones here are trim as well, so. Um, you can set your trims if, if you need to. I haven't had to do anything with it. It, it seems pretty good. With GPS, it's <laughs> they shouldn't actually need any trimming because the GPS should be doing all the work. So I'm not convinced these will actually work, but uh, it does say that it, it will trim. So. Just to run through the LCDs. So this one here is the actual uh, transmitter battery. This one here is the quad battery, how much power you've got in it. This is whether or not uh, it's picked up the uh, satellite signals. And as I say, you've got the uh, transmitter and the um, quad how many satellites you've picked up. When you take a photograph the uh, camera LED LC, uh, LCD sorry, goes off and if you hold it down for video it just keeps flashing and obviously you get the flashing LEDs on the actual quad itself so it's, it's quite good for giving you lots of information and you you get height and distance and what, set, uh, what bearing it's on here um, but obviously that's not going to work because none of the GPS is working at the moment. And then if you come out of expert mode and go back into basic mode or uh, low rates, then basically that goes off as well. If you use the headless mode, you get a little icon up in there. They're quite difficult to see, but once you've actually flown it, you sort of know where they are because you haven't got um, FPV on it. So you're, you're looking at the quad, so the LEDs are telling you what's going on. And it's quite a simple quad. There's not lots of different things it does, so it's nice. I like it. Mm -hmm.